Like, what? Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? What does this mean? Like, So I'm finding myself in a predicament right now where I don't have any movers. I canceled my movers for tomorrow because I thought because of the snow situation, it wasn't gonna be a good idea to have movers come and move my things when the snow was pretty high. But today it looks like the snow is kind of melting. And so I probably shouldn't have canceled the movers for tomorrow, but I did, it's done. So now I'm like calling around to get quotes for like an ASAP move and everybody's rates are like extremely high, like $300, $400 for our two men in a truck situation. And there was a guy at my job that offered to help me and I like was talking shit. I'm like, no, I don't need your help. I'm good. I can get movers. But now like I need the help and now I can't like untalk the shit that I already talked. And so now I'm like left with no movers. So yeah this is what happens when you talk crap to people doing pretty well um this basket is just dirty clothes i'm trying to decide if i want to wash them tomorrow morning or if i want to just leave it for the new house new house free laundry but i have to choke around dirty clothes until then or i can wash it now and pay like six dollars to wash it here in the shared laundry it makes more sense for me to just wait and wash it when i get to the new apartment um so i can wash it like at my own pace and go to sleep but I don't know um, so I pulled one of the command strips off the wall and it did this I'm so upset which this is probably a small issue I, I hope it's a small issue <laughs> yeah but I left some cleaning supplies because I'm gonna end up having to clean the apartment my air fryer is kind of lightweight and I didn't want to put it in this box at the bottom and have it get squished so I was like kind of on the fence about 
putting my air fryer in here versus just like carrying it by hand. Almost like literally done. Like this basket down here, I think I'm gonna leave it full and just let them lift it with everything that's in it versus unpacking it and put it in the box just to put it back in that. So I think I'm gonna leave that. And then I've got some weights over here that I actually never use. Yeah, this I'm gonna leave in its little tote that's just dust on the floor that I need to vacuum up. And then all this stuff like attached to my TV is gonna get packed last. The cable, the internet box stays here. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to turn that in. And then I've got like my little step stool and I left out some clothes for tonight. And if I don't get any movers tonight for tomorrow, I've got one more sweatshirt for tomorrow or the day the, for Wednesday, basically. Yeah, and I just have to like take off my bed sheet my comforter and I need to pack that but I've got one more box left so I, I've been doing kind of well like I got three boxes here I think the reason why I'm doing well is because majority of my clothes is dirty and that's why I have all this space left um, I could just fold up my dirty clothes and make it a little bit organized in there or just kind of throw something on top I don't know well I'll, I'll figure that out but yeah uh, this is gonna be pretty smooth. I, I'm kind of happy. I was stressing just a little bit, but um, I think I have some movers coming tomorrow He said he's gonna text me a little bit later in the evening to let me know whether or not they could come so So the lady at Panera slipped these into my bag which is very sweet um, I didn't get any desserts and she put this in my bag with my order but I'm, I, I don't like any of these. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of junk food, surprisingly. Like, I know I'm, like, super thick and all. But I don't like a lot of, like, junk food, cakes, cookies, and all that stuff. Especially, like, these kind of cookies. So, I don't really know what to do with this. I don't... This looks like maybe, like, sugar cookie with, like, white chocolate. And then M&M, I guess, is what this one is. But I don't... I don't want them and I don't I can't really like take them to work because they're not really sealed so I can't just like give them to like my co-workers so like I hate to waste food but <sighs> this is why they shouldn't do things like this like I know it was like a sweet gesture but yeah like right now I don't even know what to do with these I'm about to fix my bed so that I can go to sleep I just want to give you guys a quick view in case you didn't know which apartment I chose so I got the one with the bigger balcony and the view of the woods, the studio apartment. TV's here. I don't know how you turn this vent off. It's like the vent is permanently off. This is the apartment that I chose. It's got the little closet here. A lot of cabinet space. Those are two freezers on the bottom. I put that all in the um, tour, which I'll send you guys the link to that when I edit it. But yeah, so I'm about to shift these boxes around, put these two metal bases back together so I can go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't own a lot of stuff and I don't plan to own a lot of stuff like that's just not like how my life goes a lot of the things that I own are things that I use at least every day or things that I need and things that I enjoy having around but I like do a lot of intentional spending if that makes sense but I like spend a lot of money on food like food and I think like living arrangements is kind of the things where I'll like spend a little bit more money to just kind of feel satisfied I guess is what I'm trying to say because like I'll spend $30 on a meal and not even and not even blink like DoorDash I'll get a whole meal and, and the total will be $37 for one person for one meal that costs $15 if I would to like go get it by myself but because I am lazy and I don't feel like doing that like I will pay $37 for someone to bring me this meal and and 90% of the time the meal's not even worth $37 it's not even good and so yeah
so because of covid jiffy lube makes you like pull into the little tunnel area yourself while they like guide you in and i am just like i am not equipped for this i am not equipped to pull into this space and not fall into this hole and die like i just <laughs> like literally my anxiety cannot take it like I just finished getting my oil change and like as I'm pulling in my heart is like racing because I'm like if I fall into this hole how do you get me out of this hole is there a way like is it safe <laughs> and then when I'm pulling out I just like kind of sped out and I was like oh my god please 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 don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall like literally <laughs> I'm not equipped for this like He's just so patient and calm. He's just like, like, what? am I doing good? Am I doing bad? What does this mean? Like, 